In school, we are mainly told what to study, but we were not taught how to study. Most students start off by just copying what other people would do. In fact, many students gravitate towards the less effective techniques and waste a lot of time and effort. Just to demonstrate how poorly students were taught about learning how to learn, let's look at a few studies by Dr. Jeffrey Carper, a professor of cognitive psychology. So in this first study, he asked college students to do two things. First, list all the study techniques that they used, and then rank them in order by how often they were used. So the graph shows that by far, the most used technique is rereading. Basically, reading your material over and over as many times as you can in order to study for your exam. Well, spoiler alert, rereading is one of the worst ways to study. And as you can see, over 80% of the students use this strategy. And also this graph shows rereading as their favorite strategy. And the reason why so many students chose rereading as their favorite strategy is because they truly thought that it was the best way to learn, and that's according to the second study by Rodiger and Carper. So you may know by now that rereading is not the most effective strategy. So what other strategy should you also avoid? Well, the study by Dunlowski analyzed hundreds of papers to pinpoint the best and the worst. It looked at 10 different strategies and pointed out that the most effective strategies are active recall and spaced repetition. And here are the strategies that they ranked as the worst. We have rereading, highlighting or underlining, and summarizing. They also argue that mnemonics also aren't that great because they are difficult to use well and focused more on short-term rather than long-term retention. So here's the reason why these strategies are so ineffective. Think of learning as consisting of two steps. Step one is putting the information into your brain, and step two is retrieving the information when you need to use them, like for solving problems or taking a test. To study effectively, you need to nail both step one and step two. Well, rereading, highlighting, and summarizing all help you put information into your brain, but it doesn't practice you retrieving it. They only help you with step one. So the reason why the students do so poorly is that they spend all their time in step one, and some students never practice step two until the day of their exam. So let's go back to the study by the last get uh, on the ineffective study strategies. Let's have highlighting. What was the last get out analysis on highlighting and underlining? They said that on the basis of available evidence, we rate highlighting and underlining as having low utility. In most situations that have been examined and with most participants, highlighting does little to boost performance. They continue to say, it may actually hurt performance on higher level tasks that require inference making. That's a rereading. So rereading is the way that majority of students review, I think. Let's see what Dunlowski et al. said. The relative disadvantage of rereading to other techniques is the largest strike against rereading and is the factor that weighed most heavily in our decision to assign it at a rating of low utility. As I have looked it up in other papers, I have found another study that says repeated testing enhanced learning more than repeated reading, which often confers limited benefit beyond that gained from the initial reading of the material. So highlighting, summarizing, and rereading are inefficient and ineffective. So what are the effective strategies that we can use? Well, there are techniques that are really supported by researchers, and this technique is called active recall or practice testing. Active recall is the method for remembering information. It requires you to have your notes in a format with questions and answers. It's pretty simple. What you do is to look at only the questions and try to remember what the answer is. So let's break down the meaning of active recall into its individual words. Recall is the act of retrieving information from your brain, and this means that you have already seen this information before and now you're just trying to remember it. Active refers to doing this from memory 
without peeking at your notes or your textbooks. So the active portion is very important because it is difficult to do. It requires a lot of cognitive effort and brain power or the opposite of active would be passive learning. An example of passive learning strategy would be rereading your notes because you're literally reading what is there on the page of your notes and you can see all the answers. Your brain isn't working hard and just try to recall that information. So it's pretty clear, right, that the active recall is way better than rereading your notes, yet so many students are still just rereading their notes and are study for the test, and this is incredibly inefficient. Finally, the good stuff is how do we take all these people's advice and actually integrate that into our lives? Well, first cut out highlighting, summarizing, and most especially rereading. Evidence is there and this method didn't just cut in. If there's one thing that you really need to change and that is re-reading. And that includes re-watching lectures, re-watching YouTube videos, re-reading your notes, and re-watching everything. What can work is to get the basic understanding of the topic and quickly move on to active recall and practice testing. Finally, test yourself. Use book questions, teacher practice questions, anything you could have to make or mimic exam style questions. Do this as many as you can under as close exam style conditions as you can. If you will not practice the way how you are going to be tested, you're not going to do very well. So be careful that you don't fall under the trap of spending too much time highlighting or rereading. Well, I think it's great that you're enjoying the learning process, but don't forget that if you want to have good grades, you gotta practice recalling the information as well. Peter Brown, author of Make It Stick book, says that if you aren't getting the results you want, then you are not testing yourself enough. Again, regardless of what method you use, you must go for the long-term retention, test yourself consistently and repeatedly, you just gotta do it.